Alarming new numbers, overdose deaths from heroin and fentanyl have doubled in Georgia. New since four, Channel 2's Tom Regan live at the GBI headquarters with why some first responders could actually be at risk with a deadly overdose with exposure. Tom. Dave, here at the GBI, they're testing more and more seizures of fentanyl. That is a street version of the drug that is used to treat chronic pain in cancer patients. It is so dangerous, even a small amount could be fatal if absorbed through the skin. The street version of fentanyl is commonly mixed with other drugs, especially heroin, to boost potency and profits for drug dealers. It's blamed for thousands of deaths across the country, including Georgia. Recently, the Bartow Cartersville Drug Task Force seized a record 40 kilos of fentanyl. But when it arrived to the GBI crime lab for testing, they initially thought it was something else. I must say it was very eye-opening because when that evidence came in, um, training and experience and looking at the way it was packaged, we thought it was cocaine. But it turned out to be something far more dangerous. In powder form, a few salt-like grains of fentanyl could be fatal if inhaled or absorbed through the skin. So even as a scientist in the lab testing it, we want to make sure we take the precautions that are necessary. Syringes, you may have burned spoons. Here in Johns Creek in North Fulton County, officers get training on how to use an auto-injector on overdose patients. It gives them a shot of an opiate antidote, Five. pulling them out of a potentially One. deadly overdose. Injection complete. They've used it to save three overdose victims in recent months, but they may have to give it to themselves if exposed to fentanyl in the course of an investigation. The biggest dangers right now is the fentanyl, and um, yes, most of the overdose cases that you see do have the heroin mixed with fentanyl. Well, Sergeant Byers told me there have been four overdose deaths in the city of Johns Creek since last year. Countywide, there have been more than 100 in 2015. Live at the GBI headquarters in DeKalb County, Tom Regan, Channel 2 Action News.